I'm really happy to play tonight. We got a, a great time slot. Um, I think the last time we played in the afternoon, uh, and there were a lot more metal bands, like really heavy, uh, which is okay. But we're it's not we're not used to that, you know. Um, that was a great show as well. But I'm really excited for tonight. Well, Jacoby is uh, very unpredictable, so who knows? You know, he may, he may be rolling around in the mud. You know. Um, there was a, a a conscious effort to change the sound a little bit. Uh, normally, when we record, uh, we'll do like the main guitar parts, and then do you know more guitar parts for harmonies and that kind of stuff um, but we decided to try electronics instead of just more guitars to kind of uh, have this distinct more distinct sound um, and you know we, we wanted to do it so that it was it added another texture but not it not so much that it took away from the heaviness or the rock you know uh, and as far as the uh, songwriting I think you know everything every record is different and you know we don't we don't really put any sort of restrictions on how a song is written it just kind of happens how it is how it how it happens uh, some of the songs were written uh, just in the computer uh, with electronics only and then you know we started playing the songs and then uh, some of the songs we all got in the room together and wrote together um, but most of the songs like the, the music was done first and then the vocals were later When we were looking for um, new artwork, we knew that because the last couple of records, we had our, our images on the cover and we knew we didn't want to do that. We wanted a, you know, a really nice art piece. And we were just searching online, just random stuff. And we came across this image of a skull, but it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't just any normal thing it was it was done digitally and um, it wasn't actually this image it was another one and we fell in love with it uh, but that one was it was uh, commissioned by someone else so we talked to the artist and um, came up with this piece uh, just for this record and the skull, it, you know, I think it's sort of, especially in America, kind of lost its original signification, you know, that of death or whatever. And it's it's still kind of in fashion, you know. But it wasn't that it wasn't that it was a skull. It was just uh, kind of the the bear personality of the band you know we wanted to have something that wasn't not just a, a, a visually uh, striking art piece but also something that carries meaning to the record um, and you know the 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 fact that it's all digital and, and it's broken up that way um, you know I guess signifies the electronics on the record so you know everything like the, the heart and you know the speakers and the, the headphones and all that so it was you know it was the first time that we really uh, put a lot of thought into the, the artwork and we're really happy how it came out yeah the connection was something that came up a long time ago Jacoby had mentioned it and we really liked the idea um, but since then, while we were uh, making the record, there were some other titles being thrown around, uh, and none of them were really that great, you know. 
and I just I said we need to make it the connection because there you know there are songs on the record that are about Jacoby and his struggle with you know with alcohol and with the separation of his wife and all that usually when we when we have songs or or even album titles they they have more than one meaning and this one was one of those that you know it it uh it talks about it basically talks about the connection that he has with his wife but also the connection that we all have together and then the connection from the band and the fans in the beginning of writing the record we didn't he didn't want to write about his relationship and because he does that a lot and um, during the process his wife you know left him and and there was all this crazy stuff going on and we he was like we were trying to console him and and be there for him but at the same time we were had we had to write music so we had to try and keep the keep everything rolling and we just told him write it down write what you're feeling down because that will help you get through it because you know we could be there for him but it, it couldn't help him as much so he started writing everything down he put all of his passion into it and and you know used it as therapy and you know got it out and uh, it just kind of you know it brought everybody back together and you know eventually you know his he got back together with his wife and everything worked out again so it was it was good it was good it was a happy ending it came about when uh, later in the process of writing the record and and you know Jacoby was just going through ideas and he thought he thought about we have a lot of fans that will come to shows and say thank you your music really helped me in a time where I was depressed or you know I was going through something hard and your music helped me get through it you know and so he thought about it and and uh, realized that in a way he is kind of the leader of the broken hearts and that's where the song title came from and but you know the, I guess kind of the common theme for the lyrics the and the songs are that if there is struggle uh, it's more it's it's better to get through the struggle and and move on and uh, overcome the, the the struggle and and in that brings hope and so that's basically the theme for the song and and we recorded the video in uh, Northern California uh, in a place um, well the the where the band was shot was in downtown Sacramento where where we're, near where we're from um, and then the uh, the bridge was also in Sacramento so it was cool because they ha we have those places in our in our city but we don't really see them as interesting to look at you know but the the director uh his name's Ezio Lucido um saw you know he had the vision of it of of having that uh and just made it look really so it's it very happy with it the concept was that you know people would have their if, if they were truly happy there that their light would be shining uh, and then you know there are some like the uh, the thief in the bit in the video he he seems like he's okay but his his light is very dim you know um, and this and the, the main character the girl where her light is dim uh, 
I think a lot of it is just people coming together to help each other and you know everybody coming together and and giving their positive energy to this one person and it just kind of explodes into the so it's kind of a, a metaphor but I think so yeah I he did um, he did the video for where did the angels go uh, before I die and leader of the broken hearts but Ezio's concepts are very good and they're very well thought out um, and he's a good cinematographer so I think that you know maybe not all of the videos on the next one but I think at least one well on the uh, we come back to Europe in November but we were planning on uh, doing a, a shooting of um, a live show in, at Brixton Academy in the UK. That's our last last day on the tour, so that's kind of we wanted to celebrate 20 years there, and, and, and yeah, yeah, because we uh, we're it's not because of this, but we are we're big Faith No More fans, and they have their their DVD at Brixton, so that's and we've played there a few we played there a few times, and and it's. Uh, it's it's a pretty legendary place to play and so it's well I was I was a little intimidated because I grew up listening to Molly crew you know but they you know they're all really really cool guys um, and as a matter of fact because we were doing that tour um, we were kind of still in the process of finishing our record when we went out on that tour and there was a song that was it was kind of a heavy song that we we still needed a, a solo for and we thought let's ask Mick Mars you know and uh, I sat down with him in his dressing room and said man because he had already said yes he just wanted to hear the song so I played the song for him and he said, yeah, man, that's going to be cool. And I said, man, this is like, it's an honor, you know, for me to, to be in here and, and playing this for you and uh, really thank you for agreeing to do it. And, and he said, now, nah, I don't know about all that. I'm just, I think it's going to be cool. So he did, you know, he came in, ripped it up and that was, uh, that was a cool moment, yeah. We started working with James on Metamorphosis uh, by um, suggestion from our manager. Uh, he started uh, working on lyrics with Jacoby, helping him with lyrics, and um, we just got we just got along very well. Like he he's a musician; he's not just a producer. Uh, and he's been doing it for a long time and and it was easy for him to kind of become sort of part of the band you know uh, and you know we, we wanted to do this record in our own studio in Sacramento because we've had it for a while and, and we hadn't actually been able to work there so we, we decided okay we're working in our studio we just need to find someone who will come and work in our place and we asked him he agreed and he helped us you know with all the equipment because we didn't have anything put it all together and you know came in and we were able to take our time with it and it, it was just a, a really cool experience ah we i mean we warm up you know i'll, I'll i have my you know headphones and play guitar, play along to other songs to warm up, uh, and just get dressed, stretch out, and try and get, you know, pumped up for the show. And then we do a little huddle right before, right before the, the show, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, this is not easy because uh, I'm very I'm very into cars, but it was the musicians that are famous for being involved with cars that <laughs> got me involved with cars. So. Uh, I think maybe it's a little cheesy, but I'd, I'd probably have to say my dad. Yeah. Let me see. I guess ELO. It's it's good though. So I, I I'm not really guilty. No, yeah. You know. I just, well, because we're so active on stage, I just know that for the first three or four days, my muscles will be sore. <laughs>